Well, Nigel, you were, of course, disappointed when last Tuesday's match at home to Bolton Wanderers was postponed. Did that disappointment turn into a little bit of frustration on Saturday when you learned that the match at Walsall was also called off? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think to have two uh, cancelled uh, on the spin uh, is, is very frustrating, especially when you're in a good run of form and you've got everybody fit. Uh, I think sometimes it can be good timing and, you know, you can use it to to get people uh, out of the treatment room, but we didn't need that. We've got everybody fully fit. Uh, we're playing well, uh, we're winning games and we want to play every week. Uh, so a bit frustrating, but when you see the pictures of, of Warsaw's pitch, uh, you can understand there was no way with the rain that we'd had that he could play. Uh, I think they did everything to get it on. We did everything the previous Tuesday to get our game against Bolton on. So sometimes the weather just defeats you. Did you have the lads in there for, for a training session instead? Yeah, that was good. Uh, with Daryl Clark, he was brilliant at Warsaw. You know, he gave us an early heads up on the Saturday morning and said there's a lot of water on the pitch. Uh, so we were able to schedule the training session in for that, for that morning, um, uh, which was important as well because we hadn't done much you know, after the cancellation on Tuesday. You have a good session on the Wednesday, but then you're preparing for Saturday, so you don't do much on the Friday. So it was very important we got that good session in on Saturday. What's the weather forecast telling you? Because uh, depending on which one you look at, there could be a bit of snow tomorrow. Yeah, good. Uh, I hope it's not enough to get the game off. Uh, as long as we get the game on, uh, we've got two home games now in four or five days. Uh, we want them both on and we'll try and get some points, some more points on the board. But uh, we don't want any more cancellations. I think we're just about OK at the moment. Uh, we've got to reschedule the Warsaw game. Carlisle one's in. Uh, but you never know what the weather's going to do in the next six weeks. Uh, and also, you get injury, well, COVID outbreaks, anything like that, uh, also another club. Uh, so we've got to do everything we can to play games now. Yeah, Bolton, hopefully tomorrow night at the One Call Stadium. Yeah. They uh, earned a good result on Saturday at to Leighton Orient, beating the London club by two goals to nil. What did the scout report tell you from that game? Well, they deserved it. Uh, they created the better chances, uh, the better opportunities throughout the game. Uh, so I think they'll come with a bit more confidence than they would have come last week, probably. Uh, but they've still got the, 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 the same players and uh, they've got uh, a, a good selection of, of, of players who've played at a higher level. Uh, of course, Alex Baptiste coming back uh, is one of them who's played at the highest level, Delfonso. Uh, people like that, Doyle's uh, uh, got himself a goal on Saturday, so uh, they've got quality all over the pitch. We speak about Bolton there, but what will it be all about from Stag's perspective? It'll be about us trying to sort of pick it up again. I don't think we were brilliant at South End, uh, as good as we have been in the previous four, uh, but that's the only time we've played in sort of two and a half, three weeks now. Uh, so that's the only concern that uh, we, can, we can pick it up where we left off. Uh, we want to keep winning, we want to keep trying to create chances. Uh, but that gets, that's more difficult when you have these uh, enforced gaps. And it's the first time we've spoken to you since the transfer of Andy Cook on loan to Bradford City. Just take us through that move, uh, Nigel. Yeah, well, Andy wanted to go and have a chance of uh, starting. And, and really, it was a case of Jordan Bowery and Jamie Reid and Harry Charlesley had played so well uh, in that, those front three positions that it's going to be difficult for people that come in and, uh, and start. So. Cookie wanted to go and play some football, we perfectly understand that. We've got one or two more in that situation as well, so uh, there could be some more movement out. Uh, and then we need to get players in to replace them, but Cookie has done well for us uh, in the time since we've come in. Uh, but he's got an opportunity there, uh, so we wish him all the best. Yeah, transfer deadline day today. Yep. The window closes at 11 o'clock. Before that deadline, how many could you signed for Mansfield today, Nigel? Uh, I think there could be two or three coming in uh, and maybe a similar number going out. Might be one going out later in the week. Um, I don't know, Driscoll uh, has got a chance of going out into the conference on loan. Uh, so they can still take players on loan after the window closes tonight. Uh, so that's a possibility for that one. Uh, we've got a couple of lads in, the, in a similar situation where they just want to have a, have a chance of playing first team football. But we've got everybody fit. It's so difficult getting them in. Uh, you know, we've got a settled sort of I think 12 or 13 outfield players at the moment and it's difficult for people for other players to break into that yeah you've had a couple of players who are on the fringes then have you from what you've yeah. just said asking to go out on loan yeah that's it and you know and just explain that we can't guarantee them first team football and and some lads are happy not in the wrong way but to stay in, well i'll take my chances that you get a couple of knocks and i can if i get an opportunity i'll take my chance you know it's happened with players uh, who've come into the team in the last couple of weeks who've done well uh, but we understand fully if, if, if lads come in and say, yeah, you know, I want, I want a sort of chance of starting uh, and we look elsewhere. 
And in regards to prospective incomings, is it the yeah. forward positions that you're looking to strengthen? I think ideally. Uh, if we lose a defender, we'll try and get one in on cover. Um, I think Corey O'Keefe, you know, has been frustrated in the last few weeks. He hasn't started many games, and uh, so if there's anything out there for him, and then we would bring somebody in to, to, to cover. Uh, but forward positions mainly, having lost Cookie, uh, <coughs> maybe even one more, we don't know, then we'll need a couple of options. One area that we're very happy with is the central midfield. You know, we're playing the three in there at the moment, and to have those four uh, that we have um, Stephen Quinn, George Lapsley, George Maris, uh, and. Uh, Ollie Clark, now back from injury. Uh, I think we're delighted with those four. Any any three from those four will we'll play every week. Ollie Clark, your captain, could he be back for tomorrow night? Yeah, he's available. He had a good session on Saturday with the rest of the lads, uh, so um, he's certainly back in the back in the 18. Could tonight, just going back to transfers, prospective transfers, go right to the wire? Are I you think expecting a late one. Yeah, I think it could be tonight because uh, we've. We've tried to do some business last week uh, and sort of not being able to get it over the line. So we wait and we wait. You know, you chase your, your first choices as long as you can. Uh, and then you have a cut-off point and you say, well, now we move down the list a little bit to our second and third choices, hoping, obviously, that they're still available. And finally, what's the window like, Nigel, especially on deadline day, yeah. for a manager from a buyer's perspective and a seller's? Uh, difficult. Uh, it's difficult because everybody's a lot depends. It's a bit like a house chain, you know, when somebody's buying a house and you depend on somebody else down the down the line, uh, and things can can if a house falls through down the line, then a, a couple of transfers could could fall through. Uh, so it's frustrating more than anything. You know, you think you're there with somebody and you get an okay, and then a club will say, yeah, you can have him as long as we get so and so, which we're nearly there. And say that falls through, and then uh, it can be very frustrating. Uh, but it's a difficult window compared to the summer. When you've got all summer uh, to work on things from the end of the season, it's much easier to bring players in then. Well, best of luck today and tomorrow. Thank you.